Hey, it's Kimmy, the Gadget Goddess. Today I want to do a what you need to do first when you first get your Oppo Find in and you get it set up and everything. If this is your first imported device, meaning your first Chinese variant phone, there are a lot of things you may not know about how these phones are set up. Most Chinese variants that are not global or international versions have aggressive battery suppression. What they do is they suppress your notifications and alerts because it wants to give you better battery life. That's a plus and a minus to that because hey, you still want your alerts. Like most imported devices, when I first got it, put my information in, I got no notifications. And you might do the same. I'm gonna show you how to make sure you get all the notifications on your Opal Find In. This should work for like Xiaomi's and Huawei's and everything else. Well, not the newer Huawei's. The newer Huawei's have a whole nother issue, but with these, they have Google Play installed. Whether you side loaded it or who you purchased it from has put it on here. You should have Google Play installed before you even come to this. Global variants of phones are typically more expensive than the Chinese variant. I'll take a Chinese variant any day because it does the same things that the global variant does. And now that I've finished talking a hole in your head, I'm gonna actually show you how to do this. First things first, and this might seem tedious to you or very time consuming. You're gonna go into notifications, notifications and status bar. Once we go into there, we're gonna go into manage notifications. Here you will see that you have all of your applications and I, you see some of them are swiped over and some aren't. This means that they're either getting notifications or they're not. So when I came in here, none of these were moved over. So I manually had to move the ones over that I wanted to receive notifications. Well, the reason I don't need all of them to receive notifications because all of them aren't that important. As much as I watch Disney Plus, I don't need alerts from Disney Plus. So I'm fine with it not getting notifications. Say eBay. I can choose whether I wanted to have a banner in the show up on my lock screen or just the banner. My badges are either I uh, get a dot or I don't get a dot. Some of them have numbers. And then you come down here and it gets even more sophisticated, right? General notifications, order updates. So you can tell it what exactly you want notifications for and what you don't. You think this is tedious and picky, but after you set this up for your apps, literally you're getting only notifications for the things you want notifications for. And you can do custom sound. I have custom sounds when I hear this phone go off. I know whether it's Bleacher Report telling me about sports. I know whether it's Twitter, my friends blowing me up there, or I know if it's Instagram and somebody's sending me, you know, a message in my DMs. It's that sophisticated. But back to your notifications. So I have everything set up for eBay and I don't have a special sound for that. I just have a regular notification for that. First here to make sure you want the notifications and how do you want them? That's your first step and that's in notifications and status bar. Next up, we wanna go into applications. And in application, you wanna go into application management. Again, we have all the apps that we have downloaded to this device. Let's say I go into Amazon. Here, we're gonna have again, manage notifications. I need to allow it. I need to make sure everything is good there. I also need to go into permissions. So if this is an app like Instagram, if you don't give it access to your camera, it has no access to your camera. Battery usage. So when we go into battery usage, you wanna make sure you allow background activity. If you don't allow background activity, it's not gonna push notifications. You're gonna get the, when it feels like going over there checking, that's when it's gonna check it. Push notifications, you need to allow background activity on. And again, yes, it's tedious, but you have to do this for each one of your apps. It's a one-time deal. You reboot your phone. These are still the same settings. You get one OPPO, you go to the next OPPO. When you switch them over, all your settings are there. Same with Xiaomi, same with Huawei. Last but not least, step number three. All these are important, so I'm not gonna say this is the most important step, but you're gonna go into battery. In battery, we're gonna go to our advanced settings. And we're gonna go to, you. I had it on high performance the other day, I didn't really think it made a difference, but that's when you are using your extra RAM and whatnot. Optimize battery use. So you go in here and any app that you let auto optimize, I should turn that off for Amazon, don't optimize. Anything you wanna get push alerts for, make sure that you don't optimize it. Bleacher Report, don't optimize. I need my sports information. 
Cash app, I'd like to know when I got money. If I'm at Chick-fil-A, I wanna know when my order's ready. When you go through these, you're going through and you're getting them, you know, hey, security, I wanna know about security stuff. I wanna know about things as soon as they happen. So you turn off the optimization. Uh, Facebook can be optimized, I don't care. Things you want push alerts for, you make sure they are not optimized. For each one of these steps, you're doing it for every single app. And yes, it seems like a lot of work, but once you've done it once, it is completely done. And after you finish all of this, they should push. I've been receiving some of my alerts over here faster than I'm getting them on my Pixel. That's just to show you, I'm not having any issues with aggressive battery suppression or aggressive battery management. And again, Google Play isn't native to them anyway. And that's where you're pulling most of your apps from. Since I gave you how to get your notifications to work, let me also tell you that if you're using Google Maps, I would like to let you know that you have to go in and give it location permission all of the time, not only while the map is working, for maps to work like you want it to. If that's not something you're familiar with because you've never had to set it up, I will tell you it's just a matter of going into settings, app, app management, Google Maps. So once I get to maps, I'm gonna go into permissions and location I have marked for allow all the time. That's the only way maps is gonna work for you the way it should work. I know I kind of breeze through that. Please go back and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Get Gboard. None of my other keyboards have been as good as Gboard. Like I've had some that were perfection on the small screen and they were oversized on the big screen. Gboard, fluid. Gboard is the best keyboard for this. So Otherwise. I thank you for dropping by and checking out this video on how to get your notifications working on your Oppo Find N or other imported device. I thank those that subscribe. I thank those who support the channel. If you have caught this video, and the unboxing, and you wanna keep up with the progress of this, you might wanna subscribe. I thank you for your time, because time is money. And I'll catch you on the next video.